Well, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This is Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. It's a pleasure being with you today. And of course, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We are coming to you live from the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation here in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, of course, we are streaming through our uh, uh, website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. It's a pleasure being with you if at all you've just joined us. And of course, today, uh, let's talk about matters concerning uh, politics. When the president, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, took over power on Tuesday, that is the 13th of September, 2022, he publicly outlined uh, a broad measures uh, that his uh, new administration was going to undertake to grow the tax compliance levels, which uh, will be critical in his plan to wean Kenya off of the cost, uh, costly external debt gradually. The president, in his speech during the inaugura uh, his inaugural uh, at uh, uh, Kasarwani during the, his inauguration speech at Kasarwani Stadium, uh, he announced measures to tackle the food crisis and uh, bring down the cost of living. And of course, uh, perhaps the most pressing uh, challenge of his administration in his 100 days, uh, you know, including matters concerning corruption and, uh, uh, you know, slashing the fertilizer prices. We are now having a discussion concerning the, the first, uh, the 100 days rather, the 100 days of uh, the UDA government in office. What are some of the hits and misses of this government as we speak? What are some of the things that you feel they've managed to tackle in a very good way? And uh, what are some that you believe that they need to pull up their socks on? Remember, the president said that when it comes to some of these issues, they might need more than a year to be able to get permanent solutions. What is your take in regards to that? Well, to help me in this particular discussion, I am with, next to me, Olivia Mukami. He's a student leader at the University of Nairobi. And uh, to my far right, I'm um, with the Dairain Hart, who is a council member at uh, tu, uh, Tugu Tuke. Yeah, Karibu Nisana. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank so, thanks so much for, for coming. I, I, I appreciate your presence. Um, let me start with you, Mukami. Tell us something, a bit, before we get into the, the nitty gritties, something a bit more about what you do and a bit more about yourself for somebody who's meeting you for the first time today. Okay, um, thank you very much for inviting me today. Mm -hmm. So, um, my name is Olivia Mukami. I'm, uh, I'm a student leader, and I'm actually vying for the gubernatorial seat in the main campus. Wow. And I'm um, okay. mm -hmm. an entrepreneur. I'm a youth entrepreneur. And, um, you know, I'm encouraging you, then I'm in politics as well. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, it's coming up. Eh? Mm -hmm. We have um, an organization called Vote Wise Kenya. Mm -hmm. So Vote Wise Kenya focuses on educating youth mostly, on voting wise, making critical decisions, mm -hmm. on, uh, on the ballot mostly. Mm -hmm. And if they have already failed, we also help them to correct it. You help them to correct it? Yeah, we All help right. them to correct it. Wow. When they and see uh, the, yeah. the gubernatorial race that, you've, uh, that you're vying for, yeah. uh, when are the elections coming up? So they're coming up next year, but already we have started the campaigns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the ground is hot right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. I wish you the best. Thank I don't you know if you're the wife for something, but uh, <laughs> let, let, let me come to you, Darren. Uh, something about what you do and, and, and yourself for somebody who's meeting for the first time today? Yes, uh, my name is Darren Hart. I'm the people's president at the University of Nairobi. <laughs> Just as we have people's president, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, recently I was appointed deputy yeah. country director, Clean Up Kenya. I'm mm -hmm. also the youth board chair, YMCA, Nairobi South Branch. Ah. I'm also mm -hmm. the council member to Gutuke movement. Mm -hmm. I'm also the founder and director, Darren Hart Foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, thank you so much for coming uh, and uh, I appreciate your presence. Let's get into the nitty gritties of this particular uh, discussion. Um, first of all, let me start with, uh, with you, Mukami. We have the 100 days of uh, the uh, government, the UDA government in office. Yes. Um, just in your opening remarks, yes. so far, do, we, do you feel like we are setting the right pace and that we are on the right track? Well, um, 
no, I don't think we are on the right track. Uh, I would give it a fail. Mm -hmm. I think we have failed. We have failed terribly. Terribly. I would why? give it a 20 over 100. 20 over 100? Yes. Why, why that? That's a very low for... <laughs> that's very low. Yeah, it is because we won't sugarcoat anything right now. Why? Because they have not delivered. They mm. have not delivered what they promise in their manifesto. We, you know, we are educated people here. Mm. We read those manifestos very well. Yeah. And as the youth of this country, as students of Nairobi University Political Science, you know, mm. uh, department, mm. we, are, we are learned. We are learned fellows. Mm. We think they have failed terribly. They have not delivered what they promised. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, your opinion on there? Okay. According to me, checking in the, within 100 uh, days, I can't say they have failed terribly. There are strides that, that have been made, considering the pressure and the economic situation in the country. I can say, I can give them some points, and I can also say we are on the right track, but mm. on the slow pace. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I, I'm seeing the future. If the president continue doing whatever he's doing, we will earn something out of it. Out of 100? Yes. Percentage? Okay, out of the nine things the president promised, mm. he has delivered four. And mm. I'm, 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 I'm looking at, uh, at the percentage, oh. be, be, before you get into the, into the, the specific ones, I can, uh, how would you rate them? She gave them 20%. Okay, I can give them 54%. Okay, uh, now we can proceed. Uh, you said that they've delivered on four. Four items have been delivered on. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Others have been worked on. So out of four, I could say there are about 50. Mm. This includes even the Hustler Fund, although it has its own uh, disadvantage mm. or maybe the nitty gritties of it. Mm. But I can give them, they, are, they have tried. The president and his government have really tried to be where they are, considering the economic situation in the country, mm. although okay. I feel that the pace is slow. So you wouldn't agree with... Uh what she's saying, 20%. It's uh, no, too, that is too, too low. low. <laughs> <laughs> it's too low. <laughs> no, I, th I don't think it's too low. That's what they deserve. That's what they deserve. Yeah, I think they promised more than they could handle. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, let me look at some of the things that uh, we are looking into today. Um, we have the appointment of uh, the, uh, the appointed pending court of uh, the uh, appeal judges, court of appeal judges. Mm hmm. Mm. And uh, they were appointed. We saw them. Uh, isn't that a, a, a hit, a good record for the government to, to be able to manage to, to do that? Well, yes, yeah. mm. it's a good record. Mm. And the president promised and he delivered with no fear. Mm. You know, when we have strong judiciary, we'll have a smooth rolling of the country. Mm. Yes. All right. Yeah. So that's a hit for you? For, for, for that's a hit as well. Mm. That, one, that is... Uh, you know, part of the 20%. <laughs> part of the 20? Yeah, that is the part of the 20%. Okay, okay. Yeah, the yeah, appointment yeah. of the, the, the Court of Appeal Judges. Uh, yeah. We are looking at the opera, op, 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 operationalization of the Judiciary Fund. Mm. Now it's operational. Yeah. The judici ju Judiciary Fund. You know, we've had a discussion. And I remember the former uh, CJ was talking, um, you know, uh, a lot about that fund. Uh, what, what you're taking the gas to that? Well, I think um, first of all, say if you strengthen the judiciary, mm. that means you're strengthening. It's, it's a very important institution in the government. It's one of the institutions that a country needs, eh? and mm. I think the fund will seriously help. Will help very well in uh, you know the operations, mm -hmm. uh, you know the day-to-day -day operations of the judiciary because. Uh, it was stuck. It mm. was stuck for a while. And uh, apart from the fund, apart from the fund helping in pushing things, eh, mm. I also think the judiciary still needs to be worked on and the fund will help, will mm. really help. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, all right. Uh -huh. uh, Darren? Okay, that is a hit. And I think uh, it's a good move because uh, once we empower the judiciary, the, the judiciary will have its own uh, mandate to carry out uh, its responsibilities. Mm -hmm. We've seen in the past whereby we have uh, cases that have taken longer. Mm -hmm. There are 
being postponed mm -hmm. every now and then. Some courts are not working. Yeah. There are no enough lawyers. So you see, if we strengthen the judiciary system and we make it independent as, as it is, mm. then Kenyans will get justice. Now it's operational, yes. and uh, we are looking at something that uh, might uh, be able to fund, although that can fund their uh, their day-to-day -day operations. And uh, for me, that's a, a, a good hit, 100 days. Mm -hmm. All right, speaking of funding, Hasla Fund. What do make us as a Hasla Fund? Let's talk about that, Hasla Fund. Well, 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 that's another thing I don't agree with. Hustler Fund was, it's more of a reward. I can't call it a fund, it's more of a reward. And uh, according to my view, eh, this Hustler Fund will later come out as, uh, you remember when we had these COVID millionaires, soon we'll have Hustler millionaires. I mm. look it for me, I, you know, we, you don't look something near, you look at it from a distance. You foresee a scandal coming yeah, up? Yeah, I, I oversee a scandal coming up and it will be a big scandal. Maybe, you know, normal Kenyans might not see it right now, but people who understand very well this hustler fund, it was not a good idea. Mm -hmm. According to me, a uh, hustler fund was a very good idea from the president. Mm -hmm. Very good. I give him 110%. But I would like to criticize. I was waiting on the but. <laughs> <laughs> where there I want to criticize a is there's yeah. always a but. There's, there's a but. Okay. It's not where, straight. Where I want to criticize the hustler fund ah. is... The money is too small. And number two, how it was put into operational to Kenyans. Mm. Number one, it did not go through the parliament. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, we don't know the agreement between the, the corporate uh, bodies like Safaricom and Airtel who are dishing this money. And where is the source of this money? Kenyans don't know that, and that is what they are talking in the, uh, on the streets. Wha how much is the interest? Mm. And if you want to get uh, how much, you, you see the 50 shillings, uh, when you get the hustler fund, the 50 shillings goes to the savings, right? Now the question will be, I'm the one who is saving, and I'm the one who has asked for the hustler fund. Mm. Are they taking my 50 shillings by force or willingly? But you know, it depends on the person that has taken the hustler fund. Yes. Mm -hmm. It depends. Mm -hmm. Every person has a different allocation. I okay, am. now, the question arises, where is this money coming from? And from which banks? Does it matter where it's coming from? Yeah. yeah. Who is even managing it? You know, who is mm -hmm. even managing it? Who is even managing it? And the other question, mm. I don't know if Daryl will agree with me on this. Eh? Mm. Uh, according, this is not 2000. This is 2023. 2022, sorry. We are going to 2023. Mm. 500 shillings. Our economic situation right now is so bad. We have a calamity right now. Mm. People are hungry. Mm -hmm. When you give me 500 shillings, the first thing I think about is going to buy unga, two packets of unga. You know, you, you I'm know, not for thinking you, of investment. For you, the, 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 the first thing that you mentioned was, uh, yeah. one of the first things was, where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. Okay, where is it coming from? So, um, for somebody who needs money, will they think about where the money is coming from? The hustlers, the Kenyan hustlers. So, if it was coming from a particular bank, mm -hmm. would, you, would you take it as opposed to if it's coming from, uh, through a loan from China? Ungekata? These are hustlers. Kata, Suezi Kata, Suezi Kata. And that's the problem. That's the problem. It's a fund. I'm not supposed to repay it back. See, one get to pay a two bure. They would have given it. <laughs> one get pay a bure because it's not helping at all. And then mm. there is a problem with this thing. They said during the manifesto that, you know, uh, every person will be able to access this money. Eh? Every citizen utatolewa kwa CRB. That has not happened. There are some people who are not able to access the, the hustler fund. Some mm. people are not, because they're looking at your savings there. It's just like emshwari. I don't see anything wrong. It's another emshwari they have created. You know, mtihani ili upewe hii pesa. Hii pesa isaidi, I think they would have done something better with this hustler fund. Okay. Yeah. For me, I'll still support the hustler fund. It's a good idea. Mm. My problem is one, the mechanism at which it is started from. That it just did not pass through parliament. Yes, that's the sovereign power of the Kenyan people is through parliament. If it did, let me ask you, Darren, if it did, yes. would it be something you approve of? Yes, because through the parliament, mm. it will have been criticized and discussed and also 
people's views on it will have taken to account so that people will know this uh. hustler fund is gotten from this place there is this interest the government has agreed with the corporate uh, bodies like safaricom and airtel mm. when you do it your savings will go like this it's not is it willingly or not willingly because i'm the one who is uh, who is getting the loan but the hustler fund itself is an empowerment to kenyans because with 500 as much as she says it's small with mm. 500 you can start a business of cool and easy then it's a good thing then it's, it's a good only thing. that you feel like it should have passed through parliament yeah, yeah. but now that it did not it doesn't negate its goodness yeah, it doesn't negate, but now <laughs> oh, the okay. process It was a bad <laughs> plan. From it. the start, the strategy of Hustler Fund, it was bad. You know, sometimes I always say, not all of us are, you know, business-oriented. We, we are not all business people, you understand? Eh? Yeah. So, for example, uh, Darrell eh, thinks that with 500 he can start a business. Not everyone thinks that they can start a... Not everyone is a businesswoman, not everyone is a businessman, not every youth. Is a business person will think I can go and buy, I can go to Gikomba, mm. you know, start my small drift business, I can go to Marigiti and stuff. We are not all of us business oriented. What they would have done, they would have done something, a common good, you know, like Sako, the Sako thing. Eh? So the op op optionality should be Sako. They should it have would be a Sako thing, you know, like, we, you know, Kenyans are known with Sakos very well. Yeah. It would have started with Sakos, you know, like 15 youth come together, do something being given you know the hustler fund thing it would have come as a circle thing but not an individual thing because right now most youth you, you know you could see online eh, when the hustler fund came people used it that weekend can a circle okay. just to correct you know hustler yeah. fund has the interest of a circle also yes yeah so it's there the circle can also go and apply but but th mm -hmm. there's an approach he, she's talking about Yes. The, uh, 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 highlight the approach if because circles are also are, are also the circles can also apply there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. But now uh, it, it, she's talking about approaching it in the form of accessibility, the way you access loans through a circle. Yeah, the way you access loans through a circle. But also remember, this hustler fund, eh, they are checking at your credibility. So the circle thing has a question there because eh, if they check if you have a loan. If I have a loan, if mm. you, you know, it's the plan was bad. It was it was not strategized properly. I still don't agree because I think uh, the hustler fund came to that local monainji who even don't know the bank for for some of those people, and that's why the president was saying the process will be easy as dialing one two three on your phone, and so if you if you incorporate things to do with the circle, you know. You're excluding some of the people mm. who cannot go to the circle. They don't have even an ID. Or maybe they are under 17 or something. Under 18, maybe in town there. But they have a phone. They have a, a will to go and start that small business. But they have a phone. So they can just dial and get the money. The money is okay. What I can propose on it is to increase the limit for those people and also to tell Kenyans how it operates. What is the interest? That is now, it. Now is let's it talk zero about, interest? Let's talk about the interest r rates. Some Kenyans are complaining about the interest that is too high. Mm. Is it okay for you? Of course, I know you will <laughs> know. But <laughs> is it <okay> for <laughs> it you? is a bad idea. So from the start, eh, the game plan was Everything was bad. bad. Oh. So it's, it's a spoil to whatever for me. Okay, for me, the interest is low. But I will suggest it to be zero. Let that money be just... You take it, you, re you reverse it the way it is, mm. because it's from the government. And why did they even call it a fund? You but know? also, you know, when it has an interest, we are also earning as Kenyans. We are getting something, and that something will build our country, they so should... long as we don't have the corruption. Mm. Yeah. You have a problem with the name? I have a problem with the name, because if I'm funding you, where do I need interest? Why should it be, be um, yeah, returned why? as a loan? It's a fund. It's a fund. You give. It's your funding me. So it it is. It is not a good idea. So for me, I don't think I have anything. For me, I'll still support the interest, but it should be a little bit smaller, because mm. we are also building our country. We are caring for the future of this nation, and if we get this interest, it's not going to the pocket of someone. 
if it's going to the pocket of uh, the government, mm. the government will be able to improve some of the facilities in health, education, and whatever, so long as the money is helping us and growing the country, but oh. not an individual. All right, something else. Um, we are looking at those who are put in CRB. The government, <laughs> the UDA lifted the, uh, those who are blacklisted. We are looking at a number of approximately 4.5 million Kenyans that were lifted from the CRB blacklist. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Mukami. Thumbs down. <laughs> Why? Because, you know... Uh, you, you want them to be on CRB? You know, eh, if you... If you asked for a loan, you asked a loan from someone's business, eh? These mm. banks are uh, businesses. When you took a loan, you knew you would pay back. So what are they trying to promote? Are they trying to, you know, b banks are also owned by, you know, by people. You need to pay back, pay back your money. The what government is we... helping the hustlers who cannot manage to pay back. Hence, them ending up on CRB blacklisting. Why can't they create a plan, you know? You know, you, they can create a plan, but what are they teaching Kenyans? What are you teaching Kenyans that you can be deleted from CRB so you can take loans and, you know, the government comes. It's a reward. I'll just call all this a reward, which is not right. Which is not right. So 4.5 million Kenyans ought to be brought back to CRB? Yeah. Wow. Thumbs up. I think, uh, number one, I appreciate the idea. Mm. Some people are literally not able to pay. Somebody maybe borrowed 20,000 shillings or 10,000 shillings. But the nature of the, our society can't allow them to pay the money. So if the government can pay them, the, can pay them that uh, debt, but the government should also empower those people so that it, it, it will not keep on paying the debt. You see, the problem is not even the CRB. The problem is the empowered people. They may end the up going don't back have jobs. into debt. People debts. don't have jobs. They are mm. not generating anything. They will end up going back to the CRB. But supporting the removal of uh, CRB, I support it 100%. But the government should empower the people of Kenya, especially the youth who are unemployed, mm. so that they are able to, to sustain themselves. But if they don't, if the government will not create jobs, opportunities for these people, still more people will go to the CRB. Do you agree with her that they should be taken back to, uh, to CRB? Because now you're saying if they're not empowered, then they will, go, they will still go back um, to getting blacklisted. Should they be taken back so that they can learn? No, no, no. They should not be taken back because it's the government. And the government is the people. It's the government mm -hmm. of the people. The problem is not even taking them back. Mm. The, the government has done a very good thing to, to bring them out of the CRB so that they are free people who can borrow again, who can uh, continue with their businesses. But the problem lies from the government to provide jobs, opportunities, so that these people can sustain themselves instead of going back to the CRB. <laughs> uh. you, you know, there is a problem here mm. because... Um, we're in a society where we just don't, de you know, deal with the root cause. What is the root cause of this thing? Why are people in CRB? Because there is no empowerment. There is no jobs. There is so create jobs. Let these people have jobs and let them be responsible for what they have done. Why are you? Why am I removing you from CRB? Let me have a dialogue with the, the bank or the lender on a plan on how I will pay this thing. Eh? Just look at this. Yeah. Mokami. Yeah. I was at this, I was blacklisted at the CRP. Yeah. And now the government has given me a, a, a funding, mm -hmm. Hasla Fund. Yeah. Wouldn't I feel some form of reprieve? Wouldn't I feel relieved? One, I've been re removed from CRB. Two, there is Hasla Fund that I have been able to acquire. See, many say, idea. What we should do, we should learn. You know, kuji kuji tegemea because we are creating a society that imetoloa CRB. And uh, you know, you as you, you know, uta, you know, you'll work out your thing. But we have people out there mm. who don't have the understanding you have. Yeah, kitoloa CRB attenda kope tena na hata lipa simlimlipia. So let us teach people okay. how to be responsible. According to my thought, eh, 
This is a new government in place that has never been there. For the first time, we have a PhD president. We have <laughs> never had a PhD holder president well, in office. A doctor. A doctor. <laughs> and now, this is just 100 days. We cannot just judge him fully that uh, he, he, he will not deliver. And what I can say is this. When he entered office, he realized there are so many uh, Kenyans who are in the CRB. And moving with those people, building this country, it can be cumbersome. So maybe he saw it, let me remove these people, empower them. Maybe he's going to create jobs, opportunities for the youth. Once he does that, this country will go up. And the GDP of, the, of this country will even triple if he does that and kills the corruption uh, story of our country. Mm. Well. Yes. Okay. So I'm trying to look at the, 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 the economic stability of the country that the president is trying to work on. And I'm noticing that there is the approach of empowering the Monanchi. Do you feel like the Kenyan Monainchi, the common one, the Wanjiko, is being, empo is, is, is being empowered uh, uh, through these activities of uh, uh, funding and, 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 and uh, removal from blacklisting? Are they being empowered, Mukami? Well, um, like I said, and like he mentioned, it's a um, hundred days. Eh? We are yet yeah. to see more. And we don't expect him to do miracles in a hundred days. Eh? Mm. But, but I think... Um, they have to look at, you know, there's needs and wants. Mm -hmm. They have to look at the needs. What do we need right now? We have calamities. Our, economical, our economic situation right now is not very good as a country. So what are we concentrating on? They should concentrate on, like, for example, I'll give you an example. Like, um, mm. right now we have fertilizers. You mentioned fertilizers for farmers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a good idea. But strategically, it's not a good idea because the problem is the cost of production is very, very high. For example, right now, token, electricity tokens. Eh? Mm. Uh, last month, with a thousand shilling, you'd get 53 units. Right now, with 1,000, you're getting 32, 30, 37, 32, if I'm not wrong. Eh? So the cost of production is very low. And when you increase the cost of, pro you increase, the cost of production is high. Everything is kills. So I think... They have a good idea, but strategically, there is a problem. In, you know, there is a problem somewhere. There is a problem somewhere we should handle the most important things, the needs. The needs. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mov moving on. Still, there are so many things we, we, are, we are going to be looking into. A mm. hundred days, a lot has happened. Um, we have the, uh, he appointed 50% of women to cabinet and uh, cabinet level portfolios. We are looking at gender representation. It has been a very strong issue in the country for many, many years. And to achieve the two-third gender rule, he sent a proposal to Parliament. Mm. Thumbs up, thumbs down, hit or miss? Miss. Mm, I think it's a hit for me. Miss, hit. Yeah. Okay. Let me start with the, the miss, uh, my brother. Why do you feel so? 50% of women appointed be into cabinet? They have not been uh, appointed 50%. We haven't achieved 50% uh, women appointed uh, in, uh, in the cabinet positions. What is the percentage? I don't have the real figure, but they are not uh, 50%. That was a promise, that is a miss. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. was a promise, but we are not seeing it. So it's a miss. Do, we have, do you think we have 50% representation of women? You tell me. No, we don't. You don't see it. That is a miss. The two-thirds gender rule in parliament? Not yet. He, 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 he gave them their, their, their proposal, his but proposal. he has tried. His government, compared to other government, the president has tried to give the women... Uh, positions but we have not achieved the the real figure mm. yeah all right mukami well we have not uh, achieved the figure he gave um but you know we are growing as a country yeah? mm. and compared to where we are coming from i i think this is good this is good we we had a lot of women and young women not you know back then we used to have you know older women in 
cabinet and everything. Right mm. now we mm. have younger women who are giving mm. the youth, you know, hope, hope and everything. So I think we are going there. And mm. he has tried. Mm. I, I would give it a, a hit. He has tried and maybe in the next years we will get to the 50 Mm -hmm. the 50%, but he has really tried. I think he considered women. He considered women. The, the party, UDA, considered women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he considered women, so I can't complain. Okay. Yeah. Gender representation, do you believe that uh, by the time we, we, we get to the next general election, we will see a lot of uh, representation, especially on the side of uh, uh, women in leadership, in Rutos government. Okay, I think the nature of how our politics are, it is still a very, uh, a very big challenge. Mm. I don't think it will be so soon. And according by, to by, by the time we get to the next general election, no, I don't think so. We wouldn't have achieved. No. Okay. According to history, and also mm. how he has, uh, uh, he has shown. Because this is the real time we could have get, uh, gotten the two-third gender rule, as we are speaking. Now, you're talking about according to history, but I'm looking at according to what has happened. Still on the same history. Yeah. What Dr. Ruto has managed to do, we are looking at uh, uh, him and showing that we have more women in cabinet. Mm -hmm. Two-third gender rule proposal uh, uh, has been taken to parliament. Mm. You, yourself, you mentioned that this is something that hasn't happened in the previous regimes. Yes. So according to the same, same history, you don't believe that they will manage to achieve this by the time you get to the general uh, elections in 2027? No, I don't believe so. The number oh. will go up, but not exact. I think we will achieve. There was a very high improvement this time. Mm. I think that that's, a, that's a hit for me. He has really tried. He has empowered women. We have women in very good positions right now. Mm -hmm. uh, women still... leadership is is good even if we don't have the vice as a woman you know mm. but i think women have been represented very well and we are growing you know you don't expect but us to but you don't have the real two-third gender representation and that is what i'm saying could it, could it be, be because of what she said you don't have the vice as a woman <laughs> the deputy, no, no. Yeah, the, the maybe, deputy president yeah 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 maybe you don't have the vice as a woman uh, but I, I think i think we have we can't complain as as Kenyan yeah. women, youth, we can't complain. We are, we are well represented. Hmm? We are well represented. And this time, the turn up hmm. of women vying, women in cabinet, was higher than any other government. So women are coming up. Maybe next time we'll have a woman president or a vice. If they qualify, no. no, no we no, qualify. No we, we, we are there. We qualify. There's a no. lot of women who qualify. Yeah. But my problem is I'm not objecting women. Hmm. But they should not uh, depend on appointments if they are able to do the work. Like those who have been appointed, thumbs up to the president. He has given uh, women who can do the job. And it's also a positive thing that women are going into these positions. Mm. And maybe when we go forward, the, these positions to do with women, uh, represent, uh, women rep will get away with because now it will be quality mm. yeah okay 50 50 and whoever wins is the best thank you you're not licking wounds at huh? all no yeah <laughs> <laughs> not licking wounds mm. uh, now that you don't have a deputy president as women as, as a woman i know that was a very um strong point for some women yeah. uh, b before the general election we can even have a president who is a woman mm. yeah but they should, sure not, we will. Should, they should not wait to be appointed or to be... They should come for these positions. That is my advice. I believe they are coming. Yeah. They are coming. They are coming. coming. They are coming. And actually, and this is from Stats, eh? mm. Kenya has a lot of women CEOs. Actually, yeah. more, more than yeah. men. More than men. So, and actually, from outsiders, maybe you might not see because you're in Kenya, but Kenyan women are very brilliant. We are very brilliant. We work very hard. And I believe very soon, eh? very soon, women will be leading this country. 
I believe the two-thirds general rule might be achieved very soon. It will be achieved. It will be achieved. In this my time opinion, it was though, though my, my opinion is uh, completely mine. I should not have given given my. No, opinion. he has. He but. has tried. <laughs> eh? he ha uh. The UDA has really tried. Eh? Uh. With women, it was it, even the campaigns. You know, women were leading the campaigns very well. We saw women representation in campaigns. In you know, in gubernatorial race, we have governors as women. Mm. The, for the first time, we have you know. A lot of governors, women governors. Yeah, so yeah. we are heading there. We are heading there. Yeah. But Darren doesn't believe to seem to believe that. But time will tell. Time, time will, will tell. tell. We are time here. Will tell. Now let's look at employment for the youth. Another issue that we are we are looking into a hundred days into office of the president. Uh, remember, and, as we are talking about hundred days, but it ended on uh, it lapsed on thirteenth yeah, December. 13th. 13th. That mm. was on Tuesday, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, it lapsed on 13th December. That's when the 100 days lapsed. So we are looking at the em uh, employment sector. Youths getting jobs. Has he managed to, uh, you know, create opportunities? And I'm looking at particularly his transformation of the Kaziko Vijana uh, initiative, where he's looking at um, making it into a production, uh, uh, you know, uh, area rather than consumption program. Right. So um, mm -hmm. employment. Kaziko Vijana, has he managed to do it where, from where you sit, Mukami? Yeah, well, I think um, they are trying. They are trying and production is very important. Eh? So with 100 days, I, would, I can't see what they have done. I'm waiting to see what they will do. I'm waiting to see what they do. They just launched a few things and I'm waiting to see how it's going because unemployment is very high. Nine, you know... Uh, we have a lot of Kenyans who are very who are un unemployed and are relying on other people. Mm. So let us wait and see. But I can't see anything because the things they are focusing on it, they are, are not very important. Are not very important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so let's and wait and see. I think I will not give them a miss. I will say they are trying. So let us see. And I'm wondering what is this that you feel they are focusing on that is not important. No, like something like Wi-Fi. Why are they focusing on Wi-Fi? Would I think about free internet when I'm hungry, when I don't have a job? How is free internet helping me? Na hauna kazi. Na sina kazi. You know, free internet, I, I don't understand. There are things I'm not understanding. How is NIFEST helping me as a youth in Nairobi? I'm a student. I am jobless. <laughs> You're bringing a festival how am I going to dance there hungry? Mm. So I, I think that they should focus on more important things like employment. They are heading there. We haven't seen it yet. They are heading there. But why are they wasting money on this thing? Free internet. But, but, but you can use the internet to get online jobs. But not all of us ha have the knowledge about getting inter uh, these online jobs. Okay, Darren? Okay, what I can say about uh, employment. This country produces a billion plus shillings on taxes, court fines, as revenue. Mm. This country is 100 billion USD uh, GDP. But we have more than 12 million youth unemployed. Tell me what is wrong because we have a serious problem with unemployment. Recently, at the University of Nairobi, there was a certain insurance company that mm. was doing some interviews of the jobs. The people who came to the, who turned up, you could not imagine, old and young. Mm. Yeah. In hundreds and hundreds, they have come for the, for, for few jobs position. And you now, know, it, it has happened for a long time, for yeah. many for a, years. For, yeah. a, for a long time, and mm. I tend to think mm. that even there is a problem with our education system. Mm -hmm. It tends to to, 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 to bring out sophisticated hobos. <laughs> Why do I say so? Because mm -hmm. these people are programmed. We go to school, and even now, people are learning about the head of a locust, all mm -hmm. the rivers and mountains in, the, in Africa and, and, and also Kenya. When a five-year-old Chinese kid knows how to operate a laptop, they are taught algebra and, and geometry. So I tend to think even our education system we need to check what are we producing. And also the country should know. I'm doing civil engineering at the University of Nairobi. I'm a fifth year. Then 
We have 5,000 unemployed engineers in Kenya. Tell me, when I graduate, where will I get a job? The president launched the Education Working Party on Education Reforms. Yes, on CBC. It, yeah, yes, on CBC. It, was, it was looking on CBC. He is looking into transforming the education sector. He is looking into ensuring that the education sector mm. is well, uh, well, well put. I yeah. think CBC so is he, a good. It's a good thing. You know, he is mentioning education there, and and it reminded me of CBC. And and and, and, and I'm wondering, mm. hasn't he made a positive st he a, a made, step? A he has positive? made a step. Yeah. But also, those people should check the content mm. of what we feed our people. At CBC, there's no rating of positions. And you know very well where there's no number one, two, or max adding. We don't have competition. We should mm -hmm. see what are they consuming. Are we targeting what, has, what is our vision in 20 years to come, mm. 50 years to come as a nation and as a continent? Because the problem of uh, the, 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 the usual thinking of problem solving of our problems in Kenya or, uh, are over. We need to think about the whole of the entire Africa. That is my thinking. And so, mm -hmm. we've produced so many graduates, but we don't have uh, jobs for them. Look at Mumia's company. There is a narrative that is going around. Sugar comes from Uganda. They are being repackaged in Kenya. Those are jobs positions we are, young people are, are not benefiting from. So those are the things that we need to discuss. Where is the problem? Is the problem the jobs? Or is the problem the we are producing more than what we need on the market. The government should know how many engineers are being produced per year, how many doctors are being, and how many do we need? Do we need all these universities so that we have sophisticated hobos, everybody's graduating everywhere, and they don't have a place to go? That's where the discussion starts. Mm. You know, I think uh, the problem here is the mentality. Yeah? You don't have to be employed you know, we, we are talking about employment. We don't have to be employed, and that is what we should be taught in school. In university, yes, it's very important to go to university. I don't have a problem with that. But have a mind of, I can open my own business. I can start my own business. Because let me tell you, we have a lot of doctors. We have a lot of teachers that are unemployed. So if you're a teacher, you don't get a job. That means, are you going to die? No. You have, you need to have another skill and now this comes to people who did not manage to go to university and I feel like Kenya has not concentrated on polytechnics back then politic polytechnics were more were very valued you know where they taught driving, welding, machinery and right now we are looking at the Tibet institutions yeah 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 so they need to revive they need to revive these polytechnics so that people who cannot get to university and get proper jobs, can open their own businesses. And like the other day I was looking for a carpenter, I couldn't get one. No, no, we have TVETs. Yeah, I know, I know. But are they operational? How many? I tend to disagree with her. Okay. During the last regime of uh, President Huru and Deputy mm. President now, who is uh, our president, mm. His Excellency, they pumped in money to TVETs than universities. Yeah, I remember. Yes, they pumped in money than the universities, and they did a good thing. But now the problem is still there. These people, we have so many universities. People are getting C's and they want to go to the university. Mm -hmm. You see, we need to reduce the number of the universities. We pump in money as they have done on TVETs. We get more people doing these courses. Mm -hmm. But now the selected few come up to the university. Everybody is graduating everywhere, I'm telling you. Recently, Everyone there was to a, 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 a. There's no problem with that. But now, when, when they are graduating, what is the quality they are bringing in the society? If I go to the university as Darren Hart, then after five years I come out as an engineer, then I'm unable to bring a solution, a single solution in my society. Darren, da Darren let, me, let me get you clearly, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused in, in, in what you're saying in a bit. And yes. Clarify this. Are you questioning the universities? Or the graduates? I'm questioning the quality of education we are getting. And also, what the government is planning for them. We are getting a, a big number of people graduating everywhere in the country. We don't have this position of jobs 
in a country enough to, to accommodate them. So you're but saying also the problem from the university is what they are being taught. After, we have seen so many youth who cannot even bring a solution in the, in the, in the society. So you're saying they cannot bring solutions because they are not taught solutions in school. They are not producing results. Because if I go to the university for five years, I come back in my society. And I'm unable to bring even a simple solution. Then that is zero. I think what should be taught is, uh, you know, like I said, mentality. People should mm. be open-minded. Eh? You don't have to rely on employment. Uh, you don't have to rely on, you know, waiting. If you're a doctor, I'm waiting for, you know, a certain hospital. If I am a marketer, well, employ yourself. Create your own job in short. Let me give you a, a, a living example. When I was in primary school, I was very young. I used to see Jeff Koinange on, on television. I still see him today. Tell me how many journalists will want to be in that position if they are waiting for the jobs. Jeff Koinange should have his own channel by now <laughs> so that he employs <laughs> other journalists. That is the thinking I'm, uh, I want to bring it out. Should they reduce the retirement? If the youth you, are thinking of employment. You are challenging Jeff Koinange? Yeah. He should by now <laughs> have his go own home, channel. Eh? <laughs> should not go home. He should have his own space. channel on, so man. that more other youth or more <laughs> other journalists can be absorbed there. Let me quote uh, Francis Atoli. Yeah. He said this and I quote that it's too early kwanza ku kukupima umefanya nini because sisi bado tunangoja tusikie vijana wetu wengine wamepata kazi wakina malala uh, akina Rashi, uh, Rashi de Chesa wana nisumbua sana hako na jab. <laughs> that is according to, to, to Francis Atuoli. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that, you know what, uh, let's give them time. Because hata upia wanangoja kuona kazi, kazi watogai na watapewa kazi. Don't you feel like we should give the, the government some more time, time. to see how uh, the employment sector will be uh, yeah. transformed? We should give them time. Personally, I think we should give them time. But he plan yao. I don't know. I don't like the plan on the table. The plan on the table is not very good. And it's not very an good. Another problem with our country is uh, the electorate of the Kenyan citizen. A large number, bigger, larger percentage, don't know the person or the people they should put accountable. Number one, the problem has no problem when uh, he, he intends to do something because everything passes through parliament mm. and on the county level they pass through the MCS. An example, last uh, regime when the president gave uh, the MCS a car grant of two million, did you Imagine. see anywhere a single MCA objecting that idea? No, they did not. And so those are the people, Kenyans have donated their sovereign power to go to office. The problem is not the, the governor or the president. The problem Kenyans need to focus on is the member of parliament and the MCS. All right, I want us to, I want us to bring because this... Because the president cannot do anything mm. without these people. Mm. I want us to bring this discussion to a close. Mm. And I want us to wrap it up by first of all getting um, your opinion on this one last uh, question. Mm. Now that we are where we are today, yeah. um, what more changes would you uh, are you seeing or looking forward to when it comes to uh, from the government side and uh, what are your recommendations and you feel those, those things that you feel the government needs to prioritize so those are two questions in one one what you're looking forward to you know the things that you you you, you feel that the government ought to uh, change or the things you feel like uh, the government is going to change and number two what you recommend them to prioritize let me start with you mukami well um I think right now the most important thing is we have calamities mm -hmm. right now in our biggest calamities it's, I would call it hunger there is hunger in the country people are hungry people don't have food first of all they should focus on the needs the needs you, you know sometimes when uh, you, you can have a plan but when there is a problem that comes in you change the game plan so right now they should focus on uh, drought try to save people from hunger the other thing they should focus on youth empowerment. Mm. Youth empowerment is um, empowering youths by uh, fund, like what I said, the hustler fund. Mm. They should strategize it properly. Okay. okay. Maybe raise the limit. Mm. You know, also employ youths. 
because we have we have the same people we had 15 years in the same offices we have so many learned youth that are jobless we have so many learned youth that don't know what to do mm. you have your papers there you're from you know the best university in kenya nairobi university you don't have a job but there is this guy who is 60 years old in a parastatal Napiatonia Kitoka anytime soon. Okay. So they should open these parastatos for us. Okay. They should seriously open these jobs for us as young people. And the other thing is uh, about the integrity issue. They mm. should focus on chapter six of our constitution because a lot of things that are happening right now are contradicting. Mm. The integrity, you know, there is a lot of rewarding going on, which is not right. It's not right. Our constitution should be respected. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, what I can say, the, what I expect, moving on, the government should uh, at least revive these uh, industries that have fallen out of hand uh, in our country. If they revive, that is when the jobs will be created. And also, let them finish what the other regime had started, like the way the deputy president was saying, uh, finish, completing those roads, mm. then we can start a new one. Let's not start new projects, and uh, we've not completed the ones they, have, they, they, they started. Eh? Mm -hmm. I expect uh, the education sector to be looked in, because a country that does not prioritize education is a failing country, and it has, it has no future. And uh, a society can never be better if a place that should be a center, a standard of solution, where policy solutions can be sorted can never be better if we get the legislature or the member of parliament they have turned that house to be the center of comedy and scandals it's 100 uh, days but we've seen what has been happening before this thing to do with corruption the government should be very very strict on those policies mm. because a society can never be better where the standards of solution are made and policies is in a state of decay, in a state of corruption. And so those are the things that are killing this country. Because as I'm speaking to you, uh, Kenyans are, are very depressive. They are living as a predators, you see, when there's no job, there's no food. And also the government should check this thing to do with the, the, other, the other side of the country. They are giving food to the animals. A friend was telling me that the, where he comes uh, in Kinangop or Nyandaru or where, they are cutting cabbage to cows when people are dying in Tukana. Is it a problem of redistribution of food that we have or what? Those are the key things that we need to, to focus on. And of course, even as we, as we uh, look into seeing more that the government is going to do, remember... Uh, the 100 days lapsed on 13th of uh, December. Mm -hmm. We are still waiting to see how things will change. It is the time of Christmas. Many Kenyans are still licking wounds in regards to the mm -hmm. cost of living. Yeah. Still high. Uh, it is perhaps the most pressing issue that the president is uh, looking uh, to change in, in his administration. Also the issue concerning uh, the uh, w w wage bill, pending bills, and uh, dealing with the, the mounting uh, debt that the country is facing mm -hmm. at the moment. Well, time will tell whether these things will be dealt with, including corruption. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, you, you mentioned that uh, yeah. earlier on. Yeah. Corruption. Those are things that uh, we are looking forward to seeing change in the coming future. But of course, thank you so much to uh, uh, everybody that was uh, tuned in to this morning conversation right here on Why in the Morning. We were talking about matters concerning 100 days of uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government in office. And uh, I was with uh, Darren Hart. My brother, thanks so much for coming. I appreciate your presence. And then I Nzuri Sana. Umesema with the people's president. Yes. <laughs> Asante Sana. Asante Sana. And uh, Olivia Mukami, yeah. thanks so much for coming. Eh? Thank you very I, much. I appreciate your presence. Keep doing what you're doing. And I wish you well in the coming election. Thank you. Yeah, ukishinda pia ushinde ama usishinde uje hapa. Lazima nitashinde. Tupate ripoti tuone venye kitakuwa, si ndio? But we believe utapata. Sure, sure, I believe in that, yeah.
Thank you so much. Thank you. And that brings us to the end of this discussion right here on Wine in the Morning. My name is Ram Magukol. It has been a pleasure being with you on this fine Wednesday morning. But keep uh, uh, tuned in because we still have more coming up your way right here on Wine in the Morning. We are taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit.